Hi, I'm Heather Liu of the sewing blog Closet Case Files. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install jeans hardware at home. If you were in a jeans factory, chances are we would have a huge press, we'd have a ton of equipment, but if you're making your jeans at home, chances are you already have everything you need. Of course, the most important ingredient in this entire process is the jeans hardware itself. It used to be pretty hard to find, but now with the internet, it's become easier to source. I myself carry a button fly and a fly front kit in three beautiful finishes in my shop if you're looking for hardware. Um, if not, there's certainly other places that you can find it. The traditional jeans closure is called a button fly, and it was first used on Levi Strauss's uh, 501s in the 19th century. The second type of closure with jeans is a fly front. So once the zipper was invented in the 1940s, women that had been wearing jeans requested zippers instead of fly fronts because they were easier to do up when your jeans were really tight. They were also a little bit more modest. Just keep in mind that the location is very important. You're going to use the main button at the waistband. Um, just consider how much stress is going through here. You don't really want to use a traditional button. You want to use something with a long metal shank. And then we're also going to add rivets at areas where the jeans are really being stressed out. So this is going to be around the, the pockets in the front and around the pockets in the back. Here are the tools you'll need to install jeans hardware at home. A hammer, a pair of pliers with a wire cutter, an all metal surface like an anvil, or, barring that, the back of a cast iron frying pan, a sewing awl, or if you don't have an awl, you can use a hammer and a nail, and of course, your jeans buttons and your rivets. For the rivet, as you can see here, the post for this rivet is hollow, and this one's solid all the way through. And I always prefer the solid ones because when you go to cut them with your wire cutters, they're gonna keep their shape. The hollow ones will flatten out and you'll have to reshape them. The ring rivets look like this. There's two concentric circles and they've got the hole in the back that the rivet's going to go into. And then you can also find nipple rivets. You can install these at home, but I do prefer these ones. They're a little bit easier. So before you get started, it's always great to make a sample before you start poking holes in your jeans. So for the sake of this demonstration, I'm just gonna show you on a scrap of denim. I'm just taking the awl and I'm poking a hole through the denim. If necessary, sometimes you have to go back through the other side to make the hole big enough. And I'm gonna poke the solid post of the rivet back through the hole that I just made. And as you can see right now, the rivet back is sticking out by about three millimeters. And if I tried to put this rivet cap on top of that post, it's going to poke right through the top of the post. So we need to really shave that down. So I'm gonna take my wire cutter pliers. Alternatively, if you don't have wire cutters, you can use little scraps of denim, make a little squares of denim and use them as a spacer in between the back of the post and the denim itself so that the post is at the right height. So now I have about a millimeter of metal sticking out through my denim. I'm going to place my rivet cap on top of the post, face down on my anvil, and I'm actually gonna put this anvil on a couple scraps of denim so that I don't damage my table. I'm gonna use my fingers and just make sure that that rivet post is going straight down, and I'm gonna give it a couple taps. Make sure it's on, and then and that's it, your rivet's installed. Now, as I mentioned, where you wanna put the rivets on your jeans is in the corners here. You can optionally put them at the top beneath your belt loop and then in the corner of your coin pocket. As well, you'll wanna put them at the top right-hand corner or left-hand corner of your back pocket. You can do doubles here. I generally just do one. So a typical pair of jeans is going to take anywhere from five to eight rivets, depending on how many locations you want to install them in. When you're installing your rivet, you want to make sure that you're not breaking your line of stitching and you want to set that rivet about a half inch in from your seam. So I'm just going to poke my awl through. And then on the back side, I'll poke it through again just to make sure I've created enough space for my rivet back. I'm going to take this rivet, place it through the hole. It's sticking out a little too much. That's much better. That's basically how much you want it sticking out. 
take my rivet, line it up on the post, face down on the anvil, make sure it's nice and straight with my fingers, give it a couple gentle pats, make sure it's caught, it has, and then a couple good wax to lock it. And there it's installed. So with a jeans button, what you're looking for is a post that has these ridges. Now those ridges, when they're hammered into the base of the button, are going to lock and seal the button in. Um, and you also want an all metal button. It's just stronger. Um, sometimes you can get plastic ones and they're really not durable. So you're looking for a metal button and a metal screw-like post for your jeans button. So to install your jeans button, you want to do your zipper up all the way or do up your button fly if that's the case and line up your waistband. And the most important thing to note is that you want your button, you don't want your button to be centered in your buttonhole. If it's centered in your buttonhole, your waistband is going to be too big because it's going to be able to shift too much to the side. So you really want that buttonhole to be almost as far over to the side of that buttonhole as possible. And I'm just marking, I've opened up my buttonhole and I'm just marking it with a pencil. I'm gonna open this up and then use my awl to poke through here, both sides, to make my hole. I'm going to take my uh, jean button back and this is the one that has the ridges on it and I'm gonna push it all the way through. I'm gonna put the button face down and then line up okay it's locked and now I'm just gonna secure it and now it's locked into place our jean button is installed so I hope this has helped demystify the process of installing jeans hardware for you um, it's really a completely doable thing at home with just the right equipment and a little bit of practice. If you'd like even more help making your own jeans, I've written an ebook called Sewing Your Own Jeans, available at store.closetcasefiles.com that walks you through the entire process of making your own jeans from um, fitting and cutting all the way to hardware installation. In addition, we've got three jeans patterns for sale in our shop, the ginger skinny jeans, the ginger flares, and the Morgan boyfriend jeans, all available in PDF or print. Um, we hope that you can use this technique to make your own jeans at home.